My name is uh, Joseph Zaleta. I'm with the Black Six Project, and today we're going to talk about how we're going to put together these face shields. These face shields uh, have been laser cut by a few manufacturers, and they've given us the recommendations on how to put it together. We're putting these face shields together to overcome uh, the shortnesses of PPE out in the healthcare fields and also in the first responder field during this uh, pandemic that's going on and dealing with the COVID virus. So we're gonna start with the face shield pieces here. We'll be uh, distributing these. So either uh, we'll organize a drop off or a pickup. And then we have the elastic pieces here. Uh, we're gonna have probably two different types of uh, elastic. One is a fabric type and one is more of a rubber band type. This one I'm holding right now is more of the rubber band type. So for this one, we are gonna measure out 14 inches uh, of length for the rubber band. And to do this, I'm just gonna take a ruler and then tape. So with the tape, I'm gonna mark off 14 inches and this will be a template that I could use on a table to quickly cut the different lengths we'll need. So if you're gonna get the fabric style elastic, you're gonna mark off 16 inches in length. So from here, we'll measure one end here and without giving the elastic any pull, we'll cut it. And at the end, you're gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle so it seems beveled and this will aid in trying to slip the elastic into the holes of the mask. So next we're going to take the face shield. There's going to be uh, two sets of holes on each side. Uh, you're going to put it uh, on each side like this and this is going to be the outside of the face shield. So the first thing you're going to do is take your elastic and put a knot a big knot on one end. We'll start with the left side of the mask as you're wearing it. So on the second hole, the one closest towards the front, we're just going to slip it in through the front. And then from here, we're gonna slip it back through the same side it came out. And at this point, you'll have the elastic through both holes on one side with the knot facing outwards. All right, and the elastic at the end will be facing outwards. So from here, we're gonna wrap it back around and go through the first hole closest to the edge. And then again, from here, we'll slide it through here. All right. So now you've come around the whole face shield, come in through from the outside, goes to the inside, and then back to the hole, out to here. And then from here, we're gonna make a knot, a big knot so it doesn't slip through. Next, we're gonna take the forehead piece here. As you're wearing the shield, it's gonna go on the inside with the slots downward. All right, and then you're just gonna find the space between the rubber bands and slide this tab through it. And the rubber bands will just clip right into the holes. Just like that, your face shield is made and it goes onto the head like this. Now if you're a user that's gonna be using this and the face shield is a little too loose, you can always pull on these elastic parts and it'll tighten it up that way. And that's how you make these uh, improvised face shields. The Black Six Project will be handling the logistical part of distributing these supplies for assembly at home. So we'll be contacting you on uh, coordinating the drop off of these supplies. No special tools are needed. You just need to have the ability to uh, sit down, maybe tie a knot and slip it through uh, the right parts of the mask. And then we'll also coordinate the pickup. We'll ask you to leave it in front of your uh, doorstep, we'll pick it up. And if you could do more, we'll probably drop off more supplies at the same time as that pickup. So it's a very important that we communicate well with each other to make sure uh, this coordination goes off without any problems and 
hopefully we'll get these masks to where they're needed. Thank you.